Hey art friends, we're so glad you're with us today. It's gonna be a lot of fun. We're gonna draw a zombie hand coming out of the ground. Roar! <laughs> Roar! All right, checkers, you got your marker. Yeah! All right, we hope you're gonna follow along with us. If we go too fast, you can always- Pause the video. Yes, you can always pause the video, and you don't have to use a Sharpie if you don't want to, but we love using Sharpies. Sharpies. Yeah. <laughs> the lines show up really dark, and I think it's more fun to draw than it is to erase. Yeah! All right, you ready to start? Yeah! We're also gonna use oil pastels to color our zombie hands at the end. We're gonna use yellow for his fingernails and some shading on the bones. Red for the blood, green for shading, this dark green's for shading, the light green is for his skin color, and then brown for the dirt. <laughs> All right, we'll put that off to the side. We're gonna use our markers first. We have our paper vertical so that we can draw his hand coming out of the ground and drawing it really tall, and we're gonna fill up the paper. Kay. Right in the middle of the paper, we're gonna draw his palm. And see, see my palm right here? It's kind of a square shape. So we're gonna draw a rounded square shape right in the middle of our paper. Is that a cool shape? Yes. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to look just like this. There you go. Just do your best and we can always practice, right? Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna draw his thumb and the rest of his fingers. So we're gonna draw his thumb coming out of this side first. We're gonna draw a line, an L shape. Okay, so there's his thumb. It's gonna be bent. Yeah, now we're gonna draw the other side of his thumb comes around like that. So we've got this upside down U shape and then we're gonna connect it into the palm. All right, now let's draw his first finger. We're gonna draw an upside down U shape but it's not gonna come all the way down. We're gonna just stop right there. Good, and then we're gonna draw the rest of his finger. It's gonna curl around and back up. So it's starting to look like a hand, so this yeah. is like his first finger and it's bent, yes. Okay. And then we're gonna draw the other side of his finger, like that. Okay, now we're gonna draw the next finger. We're gonna come up, we're gonna imagine it going behind this, this finger, and we're gonna draw it coming back down. A lot like the first one. Good, now we'll curl back around. And then we'll draw that other line for the other side of his finger coming down. Is it looking like a hand? Yes. All right, we got two more fingers to draw. This one's gonna come out. We're gonna come behind this finger right here. And this one's maybe pointed this way more. It's not gonna come straight down. There we go. And then we're gonna curl it back in. And then connect it back to the palm. Okay, the last little finger is gonna be sticking out to the side right here. So we're gonna draw an upside down L or an A shape. And then we'll curve his little finger back in and then connect it just like we did with the other fingers. That was pretty easy, wasn't yeah. it? We got a simple hand. Now let's draw the fingernails on him. Okay. Let's draw the first thumb fingernail right here. And we're just gonna draw like a backwards C shape. Now on this first finger, let's draw a U shape. And then we'll connect the top. And then we'll do the same thing on this finger, U shape, connect the top. Now on this one, we're gonna draw a sideways U shape since his finger's pointing off to the side and then connect the top. And then a U shape down here on his little finger and connect the top. Good? Yeah, there you go. Now on the fingernails, let's add gross details. Maybe this fingernail is broken. Chip. And then he's got, yeah, or a chip. And he's got cracks in these fingernails. And maybe this fingernail is chipped also. And then down here we can draw another crack in that fingernail. Okay, now let's add more details. Let's add some wrinkles to his fingers. See how yeah. when you bend your fingers, there's little wrinkles. So let's add those details in here. We'll add one right here on his thumb. And we can add a couple on this finger. Add some on this one. 
I'm gonna add a couple over here and one on the little finger. Now let's draw the wrinkles on his palm. See how you have a round one right here and then I have a couple up here on the top. So let's draw the round one first. Round wrinkle. And then we can draw another wrinkle up here. All right, now we're gonna draw the ground down here at the bottom and then we can draw the wrist and his arm. So down here, we're gonna draw a bumpy line and we want to make it look like dirt. So some lines are big bumps and little bumps. Mix it up. Cool, now we're gonna draw the wrist. So on this side, let's draw a line straight down and we're gonna start right here and we're gonna come down and into the ground. Cool, now we're gonna start over here and we're gonna come down, but not don't go all the way, just go down maybe halfway or a quarter of the way. And then we're gonna draw a jagged line. So his skin is gonna to be torn and you can see the bone inside. Okay. Is that gross? Yes. <laughs> so I drew a little M shape and then we're gonna come back down almost all the way to the bottom. And then let's draw a zigzag over here. This zigzag comes out almost as far as the side of his arm so that we can finish the arm coming down. That looks really gross. It looks like somebody took a big giant bite out of his arm. Okay, let's draw the bone in there. Okay. Okay, we're gonna start up here and we're gonna draw a line that comes down and connects to the bottom. And then we're gonna draw another line right next to it that comes down and connects to the bottom also. Perfect. Now right here, let's connect the skin into the bone <laughs> and we'll do the same thing on the bottom. All right, now let's do another tear in his skin. So we're gonna draw like an A shape right here. And then let's draw a W. We're gonna come down, up, down, and then back up, really big W. Uh, looks really cool. Okay, now we're gonna draw a line inside of here for his other bone. Cool. Okay, now let's add wrinkles to his wrist. I'm gonna add two wrinkles on this side and maybe two little ones on the other side. That looks really disgusting, doesn't it? Yes. <laughs> okay, let's add some dirt falling down from his fingers. So I'm gonna add little rocks some big and some little, coming down from his thumb, and maybe there's one down here also. Yeah, now we're gonna draw some rocks over here on this side. Draw a little one, big one, and then maybe two down here. A little one and a bigger one right here. And then look, we can also add some rocks down here too. Let's add some in the dirt. Can add a big one, got a little one, and maybe even a little smaller one over here. We did it, man. He looks really cool. Did you have fun? Yes. Okay, what should we do next? Color it. Okay, let's get our oil pastels. We'll put our markers off to the side. And this part we're gonna fast forward and then we'll add shading at the very end. Okay. So you guys can pause the video once we finish coloring so that you can match the same coloring that we did. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Let's do it right now. now. Cool checkers, we got all the coloring done. Now you guys at home can pause the video to match the coloring. We got green for his skin, we have the red in there for the inside of his hand, the, all the bloody parts, yeah. and then we left white on the bones, and then we colored brown for the dirt and yellow for his fingernails. Kay. Let's get our yellow, and we're gonna add a little shadow on the top of the bone. See how that looks like a shadow now? Yeah. It looks more 3D, it looks like it's behind the skin. And we can add the shadow over on this side also. Now we're gonna switch to our dark green and we're gonna add shadows on the hand. So on each of the wrinkles, let's go in and we can add a little shadow on all the wrinkles. Cool, now we're gonna add more shadows. We're gonna add a shadow on the bottom of his thumb. We'll just do the bottom edge. Good, and then we're gonna add a shadow under each of the fingers. So right here, on the bottom side of the finger, we'll add a shadow. And we can add that same shadow to all of the fingers. Let's add one more shadow down here on the side of his arm, and up here, and also on this side. 
of his arm. Truckers, man, good job. You did awesome on coloring your zombie hand. Now the last step that we did was we went around the outside of our hand with a thicker black line so that it looks like it's really popping out of the paper. Yeah. Literally looks like it's sticking right out. What was your favorite part? Drawing the bones. The bones sticking out of his skin? Yes. That was probably my favorite part too. And the disgusting fingernails. Yeah. <laughs> we hope you had a lot of fun drawing and coloring your zombie hands with us. It was a lot of fun shading too. Yeah. And the shading really makes it look 3D and that makes it look like it's popping out of the paper too. Yeah. And remember, if your drawings don't look exactly like ours, it's okay because the most important thing is to have fun. Yes, to have fun. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Bye. Today we're going to be drawing a zombie hand coming out of the ground. <sighs> Go.